Wednesday without swell. How often does that happen? <laughs> Look at those rocks right there. They never come out of the water. A really low sunset tide on the full moon, which is going to come up over Massachusetts Bay any moment. Uh, we had quite the storm go through. Last week it was an easterly wind. It was a, a fetch of about a thousand miles. The nine foot swell lasted for days and it cleaned up over the weekend, of course, when I was in the office. Did you get some of that on Sunday at Coast Guard Beach? Or maybe Monday. We got some leftovers on Monday, but uh, uh, then it went southerly and we actually had 100 mile an hour wind hit the ground in East Hampton, Massachusetts. A microburst. What a storm that came through. That was stronger than the wind on Mount Washington. And now high pressure's coming in. This high is going to our south, so it means sort of a west-southwest wind. But there's colder air coming in. There's a sneaky little high coming out of Ontario. And remember a week ago we said by hook or by crook, somehow we will get a high pressure system. Uh, to our northeast and somehow we'll be able to generate another northeast wind and it didn't look like it didn't look like it now it does again uh, it looks like a mini nor'easter on friday night early saturday it's going to run right along long island and south of that there'll be a south wind and north of that there'll be a wind from the northeast right around here so we're going to generate a, a little localized wind swell but there's no real good sign of a big ground swell i guess maybe uh, next couple of days it's sort of a southerly ground swell so long island to rhode island there's a leftovers here in Massachusetts Bay and points north, we're going to have to kind of wait for the weekend. And then after that, let's see what's going on. Uh, it's going to be another warm-up next week, midweek. We may have another round of thunderstorms with temperatures in the mid-70s. And then after that, an even colder front. I'm getting as many requests uh, for to do a snow report as a surf report. And next week, we may actually have some uh, snow to talk about. And we do have a tiny bit of snow falling on our Thursday. Mount Mansfield, Jay Peak may get the first frosting, but then the weekend is going to be uh, that southern nor'easter, it should be dry northern New England. And Sunday we dry it out. It's a nice day on Sunday, so if there are any waves, they'll be cleaning up on Sunday with probably a, a light uh, northwest wind. And then the middle of next week, a southerly gale, another cold front behind that cold front, cold enough to snow in our mountains, and uh, we'll begin nor'easter season. And oh yeah, the tropics are coming to life. Uh, there have been signs that something's going to come out of either the Bahamas or the Caribbean uh, before October is over. We'll see you at the shore, and then in the slopes. Uh, shoreline sure did take a beating last week. Uh, all those days of northeast wind and 10-foot seas. We lost a few feet of sand, gained a few feet of seaweed. The winter dig out has begun. Digging out of the beaches. It's going to be a long, cold, stormy winter. Uh, that's what they always say. No, really, you can tell by the sunset tonight. See? That was a mixture of clouds and crepuscular rays.